Okay, Android on Crack here. Uh, we're going to go through XBMC, the remote control application for the media player, the media program for PC. Um, it's a great little program to, yeah, basically you can just sit on your bed or couch or whatever and just uh, control your XBMC media center, um, which you can use to play videos and music and, all, and watch pictures and all that good stuff uh, from your convenience of your bed or couch or whatnot. So here we go. Um, it does require some setup. Um, I already have XBMC running right now on my PC. Okay, go in here. Okay, and you see it's already pulling up the list. If you see this list of like music, movies, TV shows, and all that good stuff, that means you're good to go. Um, so that means that everything's working and your, your server is running as correctly. Um, so if you're getting an error to connect, which is very common in the beginning, what you need to do is you need to uh, make sure your the Windows Windows firewall is correctly configured to allow the program access, uh, which is the main issue that was blocking me and that will block you um, in the beginning. Okay, so you got to go into your settings and blah, blah, blah. Um, Make sure your port is all set up correctly. Alright, here we go. We are on the XBMC on the PC. And we're going to show you how to configure it so you can use it with the Android app. Um, so that everything is working correctly. Okay, we're in system now. Go into system. Alright, then go into network. And you're going to see services here. Alright, what you want to do is... Um, click allow control of we don't need this one we need allow control of XBMC via HTTP yes click that um, you want to also have port here uh, you can leave it at default at 8080 um, the username you can also leave as default you can put in a password if you want um, you can also you also need to click allow programs to on the system to control XBMC and also click the last one here Okay, so after that, um, you need to go into Windows Firewall, and um, it should pop up actually, and you need to click Allow. You need to make, need to make sure that's Allow, and make sure that um, your home network is a private network. So that should be fine, because you need the ports uh, open for this program on TCP and UDP under your firewall. Once you get that up and running, here we go, I'll give you a quick show of it working in progress. Okay, here we go. So I got this showing my media control. I'm going to use as remote. Okay, there we go. I am moving my Android Nexus 1 trackball and we are getting full control of the system.